we can tell that the rain is actually pouring, but it hasn't seemed to have diverted people from coming into the marshes. Just paint us a picture of the current situation on the ground at Church Square ahead of the march. Not at all, Matapelo. This rain or this drizzle here has not deterred people from coming to Chet Square, gathering here in numbers. As we can see from the visuals from behind me, EFF members as well as members of the public, we've seen some people wearing DA T-shirts that have already started coming here at Chet Square. There is a makeshift stage here where they're playing loud music, and you can see the members of EFF dancing there in front of the stage. Uh, but some of the people that uh, were possibly here talking to them they said this rain is not going to deter them and they're not going to stay away from this march as this has been a long awaiting march therefore they are here today as you know the opposition parties there are about nine opposition parties that's marching today uh, of course some to name them DA EFF it's UDM COPE ACDP uh, Ahang SA and these are some of the political parties that will be taking part here uh, you can see some of the members of the public also, um, uh, you know, gathering here uh, this morning. Uh, of, of course, we did get to see as we are making our way here uh, to the church square. We saw number of streets that have also been blocked uh, because of the protest here. JMPD have made sure to send, uh, uh, you know, some of the routes that will be affected today for the members of the public. Uh, they're saying, uh, of course, this March gathering starts from 9 a.m. Uh, until 12, and after that they start moving towards union buildings, which will be their final destination. They're expecting, uh, of course, a large number of people to participate here. Yesterday, uh, Police Minister, as well as Acting National Commissioner Komotsu Patlane said, it is going to be very tricky to give us the exact number of people that will be taking part in this march, but definitely they're expecting to be more than 10,000. Uh, now, Matapelo, just uh, for our viewers and for the public, um, you know, some of the streets that are likely to be affected today are the Madiba Street, Lillian Ngoi Street, Detroit Street, Nelson Mandela Drive, Hamilton and uh, Tabo Sikume. These are some of the streets that public must avoid uh, because of this protest where the marches will assemble here at Church Square and then finally move their way uh, to union buildings. Thank you so much for the card. And I will ask you to hold on there for a minute for us. But also, Anon 7 reporter Lemokhang Fokke also joins us live from Church Square. Lemokhang, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Perhaps just paint us a picture of the current situation at Church, Church Square. Just talk us through the numbers and the people expected to attend the march this morning. Good morning to you, Matapelo. As you can see and hear behind me is uh, the group of the uh, EFF as well as a number of other uh, opposition parties just getting up before the march. As you can see, it is quite colourful. You can see them in their numbers. Uh, the rain is expected to go heavy and poor, but it doesn't seem like that will hinder the numbers out there. But I just want to speak to a couple of them just to get the mood before the march. Good morning and thank you so much for joining. Um, I see there's a lot of activity here, um, a great uh, 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 energy as well. How are you feeling and what can be expected for the march? Today I'm looking forward uh, for this march. Uh, Zuma must fall, Zuma must go. Zuma must go. Zuma must go. Zuma must go. as the excitement continues but we will be bringing you more action as i said it is raining but it's not st uh, stopping the crowd from continuing with what they want to pursue here today but we will be bringing you more updates as it happens back to you matapelo well thank you so much for that update lemohang we will definitely get back to you as the day proceeds with regards to the latest developments at the march but we're now going back to our reporter Keldon ong who is also at church square Keldon, perhaps just talk us through the numbers of the police deployment at church square and the routes that the march is going to proceed as yesterday. We saw the SAPS briefing with the new Minister of Police, Mr. Fikile Mbalula, addressing the media with their plans with regards to today's march. Just talk us through the details with regards to that. 
Matapela, not a definite number as to how many police will be deployed here, but looking at the previous protests that took place on Friday, uh, Minister Fikile Mbalula said about four to 500 police were deployed then in and around Gauteng, and today they will be deploying uh, the policemen according uh, to the number of protesters or the marchers that will join this protest today. Now, remember, Minister also said that uh, during the course of the day, this march has been, it, uh, it has been granted permission. It will take place until 4 p.m. today. So as and when, uh, uh, you know, they need more and more uh, policemen, they will be deploying. They will uh, be here to maintain law and order. What police minister also said that the protest that took place last week on Friday was very peaceful. And, uh, of course, the protesters or the marchers, they maintained law and order. And he hopes the same will be done today. But remember, just in case of number of people that are going to be marching today, of course, it's going to be way more than uh, what uh, we saw last week, according to the opposition party leaders, as well as uh, the other common public that we've been speaking. Uh, today, uh, remember, we are talking about, about nine opposition parties that are marching here, uh, uh, asking President Jacob Zuma to step down. So we're expecting a huge number of people participating here. But of course, like I mentioned, we cannot really give a confirmation on how many exact number of people will be participating, how many exact number of police will be deployed here today. But as we are making our way to Church Square, we saw a large contingent of SAPS members as well as GMPD officials in and around Pretoria, making sure that public as well as the marchers maintain law and order. And now going back to Lemokhang. Lemokhang, just talk us through the details of the march. How long is the march expected to last, the time frame of the march, and the routes that the march is actually going to proceed to? Uh, yes, Kurapet, uh, Matapelo, uh, uh, pardon me. We do know that the march will be starting at 9 a.m. Well, it is said to be starting at 9 a.m. and proceeding to the union buildings from Church Square here in Pretoria. And quite a number of routes that are expected to be closed down for this specific march. But um, I just want to talk to another opposition party, uh, uh, UDM, which is also represented in this march here today, just to get uh, the idea and, you know, the planning before the march uh, continues. I have with me Bongani Ngumalo, who is the national organizer, organizer from uh, the UDM. Uh, Bongani, thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, just talk us through some of the preparations that went into this match. Uh, I think all the preparations are good and we'll make sure that our march are peaceful. But although we don't guarantee that because we are, uh, people are angry, because all the people that are here are come and raise their, their voices against our, uh, the president of the country to move on the office. Our voice, are, uh, we are angry for that, and uh, we'll make sure that we won't rest up until Zuma move on the office. And this is also said to be a very peaceful march. Um, can we expect any kind of uh, impact on businesses, local businesses around Pretoria, Church Square, and around Union buildings uh, specifically? Yes, uh, we can guarantee that they will be safe because we'll make sure that our marshal will control everything. Now, obviously, there is an increased deployment uh, from the South African Police Service side, but uh, given the, the number that uh, is said to be here today marching to the union buildings, do you think that will be able to be contained or coming from uh, the political parties themselves? Yes, we are expecting more than 20,000 people who are coming. We are waiting for buses from riders all, the, all around the county. The buses are on the way. Some of them are still on the point. I, I promise that it will be successful and safe. And we guarantee that it will be safe. And also the rain might get in the way as well uh, of that. Do you think that uh, things will continue smoothly? Yes, I guarantee that. Thank you very much. That was Abongani Ngumalo of the UDM. Just talking to us about, you know, preparations that went into the march, their intended goal, as well as, you know, um, how they're saying that uh, it is all systems go from here. So it is yet to be seen. The march was said to start at 9 a.m. It's yet to be seen whether this rain will stand in the way of that march. Well, uh, uh, Matapelo, we're going to have to wait for 9 a.m. and to confirm that, in fact. But I'm going to have to cross back to you in studio.